religion. Very few are interested to know what religion really is. They try to, without knowing the what religion, try to do something, some practices. Some good thing comes, of course, but when we know about that, it is very good. So we know that we are proceeding to the right path. So that is the reason the God himself came, took the form of Sri Ramakrishna, and he distributed this knowledge about which Swami Vivekananda said, Sthapakayacha dharmasya. He came to establish religion. How he established religion? Through knowledge. And what is that knowledge? The wisdom that he himself realized, that he himself created and gave it to the, the long, long back to the rishis, in the hearts of the rishis, and that has become the Veda. The realization of the rishis, the pure-hearted people, where from that knowledge came? From God. Who gave that knowledge? The God. To whom he gave? To himself. Who, in the form of rishis, received it and then distributed it. So that is why it is Aporishya. Similarly, in the modern age, in a very simple way, he is giving the same religion, same truth, same understanding, same knowledge. Only blessed people can understand that. And that is the reason the writer of the Kathamrita who noted down the words of Sri Ramakrishna, he is telling just like the Rishi, he noted it down and gave it to us. He never added or subtracted anything from those words. As he said, similar, same thing reproduced. So these are the words of the God himself. We will come to know that, but in such a modern way, sometimes the incidents are happening, the songs are there dialogue as there. So, it's more interesting, but the same knowledge of the Veda, the same knowledge of the God. And who could give that? God himself. The Siddhama Krishna, the God himself, and his words are like the nectar. Please chant after me. Tabu Katham Ritam Tapta Jeevanam Kabi viriritam, kalma shapaham, sravana mangalam, sri madatatam, bhuvi ginanti e, bhuri dajanaha. This, his words are just like amrit, the nectar. The word the nectar helps we become immortal. How one can become immortal? Not by physically, but spiritually. So that is the beauty of the Kathamrita. And this is possible only for those who can understand it, like it. And this is again possible for those who did some good work in the past life, some past karma. In our previous discussions, we discussed about the four types of devotion. Vaidhi Bhakti, Raga Bhakti, Jnana Mistra Bhakti, Shuddha Bhakti. These four types of devotions are there. Now our stage mostly Vaidhi Bhakti. With the rules and regulations and systems, we are practicing the devotion to God. But the first and foremost thing for devotion to God is faith. The God is there and then only we can develop. But the devotion, the faith, the love that comes when you come in direct contact with someone who is loving that person, knowing that person. Otherwise it is impossible. That's why Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna said, Satsanga, Sadhu Sangha. 
when a man who has dedicated himself to for that ideology realize that leaving the life he only can kindle another light from his own heart from his own light so kindling that light here the sri ramakrishna the god himself he has come to kindle the light the lamp of knowledge and he is telling it was at about 5 o'clock in the afternoon the master mahasha giving the record sri ramakrishna was sitting on the steps of the of his veranda hajra rakhal aim were near him hajra mahasha about him we all know this hajra mahasha was a very known person among the devotees of sri ramakrishna he used to read lot of scripture now many people they read lot of scripture and they cannot digest it properly that is again another problem we like to know we must know the scripture but after reading the scripture the truth the teachings if we are not manifesting that practicing that in our life then what is the use of that so that is the hazra mahashay he used to read lot of scriptures but he only knew the scripture he never practiced sri ramakrishna is giving more or more importance on the practice so that you can realize it hazra is sitting over there and along with rakhal rakhal means the name of the the his previous pre monastic name was rakhal shami brahmananda ji he was a great devotee and then m m means the master mahashay mahendranath gupta so this three they were sitting and hazra had the attitude of a vedantin sri ma master mahashay is giving us that information the hasra had the attitude to of a vedantin and what is that vedantin in one word he is telling i am he he means the god mostly they say i am that t h a t t capital that that means it is not he or she but master mahasha is mentioning here i am he that means i am the god i am the brahman then the master sri ramakrishna is mentioning uh, talking to hajra addressing him yes all one's confusions comes to an end if one only realizes that it is god who manifest himself as the atheist and the believer the good and the bad the real and the unreal that it is he who is present in wake and in sleep and that he is beyond all these see how clear what is vedanta this is vedanta now sri ramakrishna is giving an wonderful explanation definition of vedanta what is vedanta god has become everything god has become everything this is the important thing and what type of everything then he is giving the all these different pairs good and bad god has become good and god has also become bad real and unreal so that way if we can understand then there is no confusion hajra is lead reading lot of scriptures he reads the upanishads the veda and so many other things he can quote from there can recite from there but what is the use if you are not apply applying it in your own life so sri ramakrishna applied that and giving this god alone is the doer everything happens by his will h capital everything happens by his will the moment we can realize that understand that good and bad we can accept that bear that in a calm mind without any agitation 
and that calm mind reflects the God. And here, the moment he said immediately, Hajra, because Hazra had the idea that I am, I have studied a lot of scripture, but my brother, this person, Sri Ramakrishna, has not studied anything. So how can he say all this? I am the person, I have the authority, because I have the, read the book, so I should say. So he was telling. Immediately, almost counteracting, he is telling, but it is very difficult to understand that. Take the case of the sadhu of Bhu Kailas. Bhu Kailas is a place. So he was telling, take the example of the sadhu of Bhu Kailas. There, in those days, in Bhu Kailas, something happened. A sadhu, a monk, he was practicing meditation and he went into samadhi. But the local people, ordinary people, ignorant people, they couldn't realize that. They were not having any idea. So, they came to him and they saw that he is just like dead. So, they wanted to put him, they dug a hole and then put his body over there and covered. Then someone told, no, 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 we cannot do like that, he is a Hindu monk. So, again they brought him and they started beating him with a rod. So, if the, his life is there, he will wake up. All these things happened. Ultimately, he came down from the Samadhi, but because of these fools, so much of, so much of torture they did on his body, he passed away. That was the news in those days. Because of the some ignorant people, a sadhu, he has died over there. Now, about the God, what is God, Sri Ramakrishna said, the God alone is the doer. And about the Brahman, that he says, I am he, it says, Asina duram brajati shayana yati sarbataha. This is a wonderful way of explaining, giving more than these one cannot explain. This is an, something that you have to realize. It is not an object that we can judge, we can touch, we can see, we can feel. No, it is not an object. So naturally, only thing uh, by which we can understand that is some idea. What is that? Those who have realized, they are telling, Asina Duram Brajati. Sitting, he goes far away. Duram. Duram means far. But he is sitting. And then, Shayana, when he is lying down, he Jati Sarvataha. He is everywhere. And this is the conception of the Jagannath temple that in Puri, in Calcutta, India. The Jagannath, he is sitting because he is not having any legs. Of course, again, we make the mistake. We always think that God has legs, so they have made some golden legs. So they will put that golden legs and then they will take, because some people, the thing without legs, how one can go? And God is not having the legs. They have not read this. They have not realized. God is everywhere already. So, Ashina Duram Brajati, when he is sitting, he can go far away because he is already there. And Shayana Yati Sarvata, when, when he is lying, at that time, he can go to any place. So, this is the main about the God. God is everywhere, all powerful. He can create, and that's why Sri Ramakrishna said, God alone is the doer. We think that we are doing, that is a mistake. The moment we can realize that we are not doing anything, that is the realization. I am not doing. And sincerely, we can believe that. And then this person, he went into samadhi. What is that samadhi? We know in the Yoga Darshan that it says Tadakara Karita. Tad. Tad means the that, that the Brahman, the consciousness. 
आकार आकार मीन्स द फॉर्म आकार ही इज टेकिंग द फॉर्म ऑफ दैट ब्रह्मन तद आकार आकारित दैट इज कॉल दैट समाधि वेन वी मेडिटेट वॉट वी डू we try to remember god within our heart the god the name of god or goddess that our guru has given in the mantra that we try to imagine within our heart when we are trying to imagine what happens and we can always ima- imagine god within our heart by that way we forget ourselves we forget the surroundings so obviously what remains only that god and when it goes so deep it's called samadhi tad aakar aakaritaha in that they are total that's why they say you must remember god meditate on god what is the meditation though we are taking the name of god that is the help by which we can counter the other thoughts what is the use of the diksha the mantra diksha why one takes the name because by that one can counter the other thoughts the name of god or goddess we are countering the other thoughts but by that way when we are driving the worldly thoughts our mind is calm in that calm mind we are trying to reflect by imagining that god or goddess or my ishta devata or devi is sitting within my heart and that way i am becoming god and goddess so that is our hanuman ji he showed that within his heart there is nothing but sri ramachandra that is called meditation tad aakar aakaritah that is called yoga darshan and bhagavad gita says brahme sthiti hi what is meditation brahme sthiti hi he is remaining in the brahman he is becoming resting remaining in brahman how through thought transforming himself in a beautiful way the emily bronte she wrote a beautiful poem and the name of the poem is the prism and there only a few, one or two lines i am quoting fast a harsh of peace in the beginning the harsh of peace and the poets through their imagination trying to explain this fast a harsh of peace a soundless calm descends and then till earth was lost to me this is important till earth was lost to me the all surroundings it was totally gone so that is called the samadhi in that samadhi the bhukailas the monk the referred over here by the hajra he went into samadhi in few lines few words this is what is samadhi Sri Ramakrishna is telling man must reap the fruit of his own karma though he went into samadhi but he had that type of painful death his body should go in that way that was his karma phala that was his past and that is why we find like this we find so many ways very holy person very good person but death is like that and we wonder why it is happening is because some karma phala is there result is there but in the meantime sri ramakrishna is giving an example that in the olden times the kaviraj they used to prepare one type of medicine inside an arden pot and when inside the arden pot they cover is to cover with thick layers of clay and inside they is to put some medicine some herbs some golden parts and all those things then they is to cover and put it into fire and there was a time 
after that time they used to take it out and break that because medicine has already been prepared ready. So, they do not use they do not need that earthen pot. Similarly, this body is nothing but like an earthen pot and within our heart when the God is residing, God is manifesting, God is showing then what is the use of this body? Whether it remains or goes it does not matter. So, similarly we find that Sri Ramakrishna is telling the God that monk about whom the discussion was going on in the Bhu Kailash, he realized God, he was in Samadhi and therefore, though his body has gone in a very difficult way, <coughs> painful way, he had to die in a very painful way because of some ignorant people, even then it was nothing because he has achieved everything. The sadhu of Bhukailash was in Samadhi. There are many kinds of Samadhi, Sri Ramakrishna is explaining and then he is giving his own example. My own spiritual experiences tally with the words I heard from a sadhu of Rishikesh. There is also a very famous place in India, the Rishikesh, where most of the people, the monks, they go. I too in my life I went over there to Rishikesh and spent some time. The mostly the sadhus go over there, but still now we can say the Rishikesh has lost that charm of quietness. Because of the population growth, people are going over there, residing over there and the hotels have come up and so many other things. That calmness is lost, but still so many people they meditated over there. So, Rishikesh is having. One of the monks of the Rishikesh was commenting as a Samadhi and what type of Samadhi, what are the experiences one get when the Samadhi happens. Sri Ramakrishna is telling that, that experiences uh, is telling with me. I had the same type of experience. How is it? Sometimes I feel the rising of the spiritual current inside me as though it were the creeping of an ant, as though that the Shakti is creeping like an ant inside that our Sushumna. And second, sometimes I feel like the movement of a monkey jumping from one branch to another. Again, sometimes it feels like a fish swimming in water sometimes going down, sometimes coming up like the fishes, they enjoy swimming in the water and similarly that power is coming up or going down and taking this turn, taking that turn. Only he who experiences it knows what it is like. And in another place Sri Ramakrishna said, it is like the movement of a snake that from the Kula Kundalini and it comes up to the Sahasrara through that the channel and it moves like a snake that is the feeling expressed in somewhere. In Samadhi one forgets the world. When the mind comes down a little I say to the Divine Mother, Mother please cure me of this I want to talk to people. Immediately after this he is Sri Ramakrishna is giving a statement. And this is very important. Who is Sri Ramakrishna? When sometimes we ask, we talk or discuss, here he is giving the hint. None but the Ishar Koti can return to the plane of the relative consciousness after attaining Samadhi. Ishara Koti, those who are reading the gospel, they know the different varieties of people are there and those who are realizing God, striving to realize God, they are also having the categories and among them the highest one is Sharakoti, they are the God, but still they have come down to show the practice of spirituality, show the practice of austerity. So, they are called Isharakoti 
And Sri Ramakrishna is telling only this type of people, after attending Samadhi, can come down and survive. Sri Ramakrishna came down and Sri Ramakrishna is talking, praying, is he Sharakoti? No, the answer is still after few lines. Some ordinary men attain Samadhi through spiritual discipline, but they do not come back. But when God himself is born as a man, Sometimes some people after practicing spirituality, they reach to that samadhi state, but they do not come back. They die after that. We have read in other places of gospel, it's 21 days they can survive in that condition. Why they can't survive? Because the attachment to the body, that is gone. And that is why sometimes the doctors, they know some of the patient, they lose that appetite, they don't feel like eating, they don't feel like surviving. That is a disease. So unless they are having that desire to survive, to live, to eat, it's very difficult for the doctors to keep that uh, the patient alive. After the samadhi, knowingly, with a spiritual knowledge, these people they start thinking, one who has realized God, Atman, start feeling, the, what is the use of this body? The ugly body, the dirty body filled with bones and all other things. So they don't feel to keep that body alive. And naturally, they slowly, the body which is sustaining on Anna, Anyat, that body means only food and drink that only can help to sustain the body. So, that pass away, but Ishwar Koti can come down. Now the God, none but the Ishwar Koti can return to the plane of relative consciousness after attaining Samadhi. But some ordinary men attain Samadhi through spiritual discipline, but they do not come back. Then he is saying, but when God himself is born as a man, as an incarnation, holding his hand, the key of others' liberation. This is very important. When the God is taking the form of a human, he is coming as an incarnation, he is holding the key of the others' liberation. Then, for the welfare of humanity, the incarnation returns from samadhi to consciousness of the world. He comes back after samadhi. Sri Ramakrishna used to go to samadhi again and again. And he, we are talking about the monks who once only in their life, very, very fortunate people, once only in their life, they reach to that samadhi stage. And after that samadhi, those ordinary people, after 21 days, they, they leave the body, Ishwar Kuti come back and for the, to talk about the Samadhi to the people, but only God is coming down from the Samadhi with a key to help others to get that liberation. And Ma, Master Mahasaya, who was noting the dialogue, the conversation of Sri Master, Master means the Sri Ramakrishna, he is thinking to himself, does the master, master means Sri Ramakrishna, hold in his hand the key to man's liberation? Ma Sharadamani Devi said, he is Kapala Mochana. The Kapala means the skull, that means uh, this our forehead, but it is not the forehead, it is our all past actions, past karma. And that all the past actions, past karma, past the result of karma that can be wiped by God. Who that God? Sri Ramakrishna. Usually the Hindu, the Buddhist, all they accept the karma fala. But here the karma fala can be changed by whom? God. And who is that God? That's why Sri Ramakrishna, he can do and undo anything. 
So if we have only the faith that uh, he, they are talking are like this, the Hasra is telling in one way, the one thing needful is to please God. What does it matter whether an incarnation of God exists or not? Hazra having that uh, conversation, he the argument. The one thing needful is to please God. What does it matter whether an incarnation of God exists or not? Then it was the day of the new moon, gradually night descended and dense darkness enveloped the trees and the temples, etc. He is giving the master Mahashe, giving the uh, description of the place. Now, look at it. The Sri Ramakrishna, he gave an, a statement, a statement of fact, that only God, when coming and taking the human form, he is holding the key, like an incarnation. Master Mahashay, householder, he immediately understood it is a hint that Sri Ramakrishna is holding the key. But the Hazra Mahasaya, he studied so much of scripture, he lives in Dakshineshya, so near the next, the, uh, immediately after the door of the Sri Ramakrishna, he used to stay and he used to see Sri Ramakrishna, the God himself, day and night. But that thought did not come to him. And he commented, oh, only we have to please God somehow, do not care about the incarnation. This is the buddhi yogam dadam maham. When the God is pleased on me or someone, what, how he helps? He gives the true knowledge, understanding. Understanding what? The words of God. That is the way we should have to understand. The master went into, then the, he is giving the, now the Sri Ramakrishna is telling, yes, God can be seen and uh, he is not mentioning the name, so X is mentioning X has had a vision of God. But do not tell anyone about it, tell me which do you like better, God with form or without form, formless reality? Then the master he is telling, sir nowadays I like to think God without form. But I am also beginning to understand that it is God alone who manifests himself through different forms. Now, Master Mahashoy, who was influenced by the, the Brahma Samaj and he used to say, can God has be two with form and without form? The doubt was there. Now, after coming to Sri Ramakrishna, spending few days listening to him, how his thoughts are changing, his understanding that God can be with form and without form. But my likings without form. Then Sri Ramakrishna is telling, will you take me in a carriage someday to Motishil's garden? And he is mentioning about it because the master, he was describing this Matishil's garden, it is in the Calcutta only. Still that garden house is there. And there was a, there is a pond, still that pond is there. It has not been changed anything, it is still there. And he used to come over there, Sri Ramakrishna used to come over there to see the fishes. And the, when he used to see the fishes, enjoying inside that water, immediately he used to think all these souls like those fishes are all swimming in the presence of the Brahman. And as if the Brahman is that water, is a huge pond and all different type of fishes, the Jiva Atmas, all these souls, the souls of those beings they are all playing here inside the water of Brahman. And he used to see that immediately, he used to remember and go, his mind used to go to that. And before that here we must read an account, it is very interesting. 
whichever attitude you adopt you will certainly realize God if you have firm faith firm or formless it does not matter but if you have firm faith Vishwasa the faith is as the one thing that comes after a lot of experiences when we are experiencing something then only we believe it is possible and in this way we can do a faith can come when I like someone respect someone believe someone and then accepting his words or her words so that is the faith after experiencing it is very difficult now how many times we can experience all things we cannot experience so those who have already experienced if we are believing them accepting their words so it is very easy so then the faith is coming holding that faith when we are striving we will reach to that conclusion to that truth also you may believe in God with form in or without form but your faith must be sincere and wholehearted faith must be sincere and wholehearted sometimes some people they come they take diksha and then after the taking diksha they will be thinking oh if I could remember that God or goddess it would have been better because I like that it's a weakness of mine Suppose you get mantra of that God, again after some days, again they will start thinking, oh if I could get that mantra or that Goddess or there if I could go, this is the weakness of the mind. So that is why Sri Ramakrishna is telling when accepting, accept it 100 percent and put your mind and soul on that and then move or otherwise all your energies are flickering away and it is becoming weak time is very short in our life and now if we go on testing whether Lord Buddha sometimes people go to Buddhism and some days they will meditate and after a few years they will come back oh no it is not helping then I will go to some like that they are going on changing 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 what happens to them no success Sri Ramakrishna himself is telling a story then one person he wants to get a drinking water so he is dugging a well and he is dugging after some time oh no water is not coming leave that again he goes and start once again from the surface to dug that like that he is going on dugging the holes in different places but not getting the water so he is mentioning like this the whole hearted then he is giving an example of a person he was a landlord Shambhu Malli the, his garden house is still there in so just ad, adjacent to Dakshinesha Shambhu Malli used to come on food from Bagbajar is a very far to his garden house at Dakshinesha one day a friend said to him it is risky to walk such a long distance why don't you come in a courage, carriage at that Shambhu's face turned red and he exclaimed I set out repeating the name of God what danger can befall me see the faith I am taking the name of God and then starting going starting my journey taking the name of God God will protect me nothing is going to harm me that is the faith we take the name of God but at the same time we don't have that hundred percent faith the faith in the words another story that Sri Ramakrishna told that uh, if you para tales and parables of Sri Ramakrishna one book is there very interesting stories are there and that gives the explanation of so many high ideologies one little boy he was a poor boy used to go to school and from his house to school in between there was a jungle and he used to be afraid and used to ask the mother when please come and give me the company so that I can reach to my school mother was a poor lady she had to go for work and she told I cannot go but 
don't be afraid my son in that jungle your elder brother is living and his name is madhusudan go and call madhusudan dada dada means elder brother madhusudan dada i am afraid come and give me the company so that i can cross that jungle hundred person faith in the words of the mother mother told that only to give some encouragement and the child will go and really that happened he went and he started crying madhusudan dada mother told you are living somewhere here can't you listen to me i am afraid i cannot cross this and i am late i have to reach to my school then the madhusudan the krishna came and day after day he is to give the company to reach his school and at the time of returning back from school and they used to have a lot of chatting one day the mother she asked are you afraid now no why should i my elder brother madhusudan dada is there giving me the company the lady she couldn't realize the truth she was thinking the child somehow is a mentally she, he is thinking that he is getting a company that is good at least he is also going to school regularly and i am also free to attend my duties one day so happened that the teacher they in those days the poor teachers they used to collect some money the help for any function his mother died so the final ritual was there so he asked his disciples and the students please bring something <coughs> i am inviting some guest i like to feed them so bring something and he asks this boy what you can bring he told i don't know let me talk to my mother he came back and told his mother again the mother was in difficulty and then she, she told why don't you talk to your brother maybe that he can help you go and tell madhusudan he will give you something you can carry that again the 100 person faith the child went over there and told madhusudan dada this is the problem mother cannot give anything but can you please give me something without taking something i cannot go the madhusudan dada gave some yogurt the small quantity of yogurt and to you take it the child he couldn't understand so he brought it i gave it to the teacher but teacher became very angry this little whom i am going to feed there are so many people how can i serve then anyway angrily he just gave it to on one plate and when he turned that he saw that again it is full again he turned on other plate other plate other plate. every time it was full even after feeding all those people it was full purnamada purnamidam that is all full all the time because god gave it then the teacher understood something miraculous he told the boy who gave it my dada my elder brother madhusudan where does he live in the jungle can you please show me but why not every day he is coming today also he will come he always help me to cross that jungle because it is a lonely place so i will go and call and he will come you can also come along with me the teacher understood and he went over there the boy was calling 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 this time god didn't come then he was crying the teacher will misunderstand me he will think that i am lying why didn't you come then a voice came you are pure hearted and you are having 100% faith but your teacher is not so i cannot show myself to your teacher but he is very lucky that he has come along with you just because if your company he could listen my voice so this is what sri ramakrishna told in this modern age we always try to get the experimental result but unless and until you have that sincerity to experiment it how can you get the result first and foremost sri ramakrishna is telling 
God is there, you can see God, anyone can see God. But you have to be sincere and you have to pray on God day and night and you have to forget yourself and all the whole world all around you. Then only you can see God. Are we following that? If we are following that, if we have 100% faith in the words of Sri Ramakrishna, it is natural that we will be able to see God. Then Sri Ramakrishna was talking in this fashion. Then one day, this Sri Ramakrishna, uh, when he sat, one lady came. She was the maid servant of the temple. But she was not having a good life when she was young. But anyway, now she is practicing. Sri Ramakrishna used to encourage her to give donations. Through donations, through giving, because she earned some money by you know, the bad way. But now Sri Ramakrishna told, you better go and serve the holy men, donate it for the good causes, then you will get the blessings. That lady went and Sri Ramakrishna is talking with him talking with her. Have you seen, uh, have you been to Brindavan, Benares, all these very famous uh, places of Hindu pilgrimage? So, have you been there and any other holy places? Bhagavati, that lady, and she was very happy and she told, how can I say that? This is the system in India not to the brag about, hey, I went over there, this thing happened, that thing happened. They only very humbly they say, but I have built a bathing place in the holy places like Benares. You will see all the steps somebody has donated. The name is also written with an intention that holy people, they are putting their, they are standing over that, walking over that, so their blessings will come with that faith only they do. And my name is inscribed on that slab. Master, indeed. So he was encouraging her. Bhagavati, yes, sir. My name, Srimati Bhagavati Dashi. That is inscribed over there. And I put that over there. Master with a smile, how nice. But this lady couldn't understand the, what this master is. She is slowly developing, coming to the purity just by donating. But that doesn't mean that she could go and touch the God. Now what happened? Emboldened by the master's words, Bhagavati approached and saluted him, touching his feet. Like a man strung by a scorpion, Sri Ramakrishna stood up and cried out, Govinda, Govinda. A big jar of Ganges water uh, stood in a corner of the room. He hurried there, panting, and washed with that holy water the spot the maid servant had touched. The devotees in the room were amazed to see this incident. Bhagavati sat as if struck dead. Sri Ramakrishna consoled her and said in a very kindly tone, You should salute me from distance. Some of the people, they came to Sri Krishna. When we were discussing Krishna's life, and on fourth and fifth, we observed. And we know that Kamsha used to send some type of very, uh, the bad people. And they came with an intention to harm Sri Krishna. But one was Putana. She came as a wet nurse. And she was telling, please give the child. I like to give some milk to him. And afterwards, she was killed by the Krishna and very painful death. Because the holiness touched by that, whenever the darkness comes to light, what happens? It breaks. So that's why it cannot be. If you purify yourself, then only you can come and touch. Sri Ramakrishna is telling, Jesus also telling, the all that has been created by God, but the same God has created both, the purity and impurity. Those who are taking impurity 
and their mind is covered with that, they cannot go near to God unless and until they are cleansing them themselves. Jesus told, pure in heart can see God. Can, they shall see God. That purity is necessary. This lady is slowly becoming pure. Sri Ramakrishna is also encouraging. It's not the untouchability that we must understand. Sometimes the modern days, uh, when we read like this without understanding anything, immediately they will think, oh, Sri Ramakrishna, that because that lady and she was poor and she was not Brahmin and she touched and what is there? No, wrong thing. We have to understand the thing in a different way. So this Sri Ramakrishna wanted to console her. It is not that she was not, he was not liking her. She, he was encouraging her. But at the same time, it was not the time, the preparation in her mind was not ready, final, to touch God. So naturally, it was not that like a putana. Then afterwards in the Bhagavata it mentioned, when they were burning the body of Putana, a wonderful fragrance came from that body. Why? Because it was touched by God. Though she had a very painful death, but at the same time, she was free from all the sins. So here also we find Sri Ramakrishna is not giving any harm to that lady. Rather, he himself is taking that. And he was feeling so much of pain in his holy body. He ran and he was washing that particular spot of his feet where she touched with the Ganges water. And then he was consoling her, said with a very kindly tone, you should salute me from a distance because you are not ready yet. In order to relieve her mind of all embarrassment, the master said tenderly, listen to a few songs. And the way he, Sri Ramakrishna was treating her. And she, Sri Ramakrishna was singing to pacify that lady. One of the very famous songs Sri Ramakrishna sang, Aponate mon aponite ko jeo na ko karo gare. Dwell, O my mind, within yourself, enter no other's home. If you but seek there, you will find all you are searching for. So we are going here and there. The lady is going to different holy places to get some purity. Doing some. But Sri Ramakrishna is telling, if you are sitting in one place, taking the name of God, that will help you. That's why sometimes we say to the, our devotees, when you are going to different places, nothing wrong, it's good. But at the same time, your penetration, your concentration is becoming weak. So in one place, if you are coming and sitting and just going on praying, praying and praying to God, you will get everything. Apunate mon apunite ko jeonako karo ghare. And it was afternoon. Sri Ramakrishna was telling the devotees about his experiences during his God intoxicated state. And he said, what a time. How we will know, a very young boy came, I think yesterday, and he was asking, at seventh standard, seventh grade, and he was asking, how I will know that I have got the blessings of God. Suppose I am going on praying to God, but how I will know? This is a wonderful question. And then I told that if you are blessed by God, all your wishes will be fulfilled. And if you are blessed by God, then there will be no hindrances. All things will be in that way, all people will be in such a way, all your wishes will be fulfilled. That is exactly what the Sri Ramakrishna is mentioning. If I want something to eat, he used to say. After the meditation, he felt that the blessings of God, just to testify 
is this true or not he used to say i like to eat this and that type of food is to come and i will conclude today's our discourse by quoting from the life of our raja maharaj his name pre monastic name was rakal rakal means the cowherd boy because sri ramakrishna saw him in his that is uh, meditation that he was the companion of sri krishna that the cowherd boy and then afterwards he said though apparently you see he is so calm and quiet and don't talk but he had the capacity to rule a state he can could become a king and from then onwards shami vivekananda used to call him as raja raja means the king so when they raja maharaj so they used to call him he was meditating practicing austerity uh, by the side of the jamuna somewhere so they made a little uh, the thatched ro room they used to live in there and whole day long they used to sit and take the name of god and meditating and reading holy books one day he was thinking for a long time i didn't eat the luchi you know the bengalis they are very fond of luchi and some halwa so made up as a kind of a sweet oh if somebody could bring the hot uh, luchis and halwa that could be very nice he simply thought like that again he went into that some uh, meditation deep meditation and suddenly he heard somebody is calling him baba ji open your eyes i have brought your food and he saw that luchi and halwa and he told how come that he you, you brought this no 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 my god ramachandra ji he showed me in dream raja maras thought immediately the god in the form of ramachandra because that person he, he was the devotee of sri ramachandra so the ramachandra appeared in the dream and told my son is sitting over there he is hungry take this two type of food he likes it go and give it to him sri ramakrishna is rama that proves and then raja maras told how do you know that it is me rama told there is my son he is a monk sitting over there no 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 he showed you over there first time i didn't ignore second time also i ignored third time my god became so angry and he came and i will punish you if you don't do that then i saw you sitting over here the direction also i got so i have come so that is the way god fulfills all our prayer if we are sincere thank you very much we will study this again in the next time let us offer our pranam to you god niranjanam nityam ananta roopam bhaktanukampa dhrita vikraham vai ishavataram परमेशमिद्यम तम राम कृष्णम शिरसा नमाम ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम तत्सत्म कृष्ण अर्पणमस्तू